to your performance tonight? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was good. I mean, there's definitely stuff to improve on. Um, I mean, you're not going to be perfect, but you got to be as close to perfect as possible. So, um, yeah, I definitely think there's stuff to improve on, but we'll get that figured out, watch some film on it, and then get it fixed. Let's talk about the player we're struggling. How do you talk what you can say about his chemistry between you and Yeah, you know, we, we always throw together, uh, you know, whether it's in a, a, a practice setting or out of, like, a practice setting. So it's, it's good to have the chemistry with him, you know, have that safety blanket. Um, but all the guys balled out tonight, all the receivers, I think they did a great job catching the ball, They're getting separation, so it was good. Tyler, I know that, you know, no, no contact really for you tonight, but just uh, see Ruben Bain coming at you, what, what goes through your mind? <laughs> yeah, he's a good player. Uh, <laughs> uh, I think uh, she said uh, he had three sacks, yeah, something like yeah. that. Um, yeah, it's impressive, so um, he's going to make an impact here, and uh, he's going to continue to grow. And watching Emery throw from the, from the sideline is what you see from him. Yeah, I thought Emery had a great night. You know, uh, as a freshman in the first type of environment like this, it's, it's hard. Um, I mean, I went through it, and now he's going through it. So uh, to have that long touchdown pass for him, it definitely makes it feel good. It makes me feel good that it did that, so I'm excited for him. Sum up the progress of the offense this spring. You guys had uh, so much work to do, a new system, new coordinators. How would you sum it all up? Yeah, I think tonight that was our best communication night. Um, in this type of environment, just uh, getting all the plays, signals, and um, just communicating it well uh, is what we thought. Is what I thought we did well tonight. So um, yeah, I'm just excited to get back and after this little break we have and continue to grow as an offense. How much more comfortable are you in this offense compared to last time? This year? I mean, I'm not going to compare anything, but I mean, I was comfortable last year and comfortable this year. Just unfortunate circumstances last year with injuries and. Um, Everybody coming in and out with injuries. So, um, but I mean, this system gives the quarterback a lot of freedom um, to check plays, check routes, uh, depending on what the defense gives you. So, um, I mean, that's what I like the best about this one. How yeah, much were you able to do that tonight? It seems like you work on a couple plays to, get to check things at the line and stuff. Yeah, some of the, the go routes um, were checked uh, based on uh, man coverage. Um, some other some other pass routes. Um, they actually didn't bring zero tonight. Uh, zero coverage which they do a lot in practice, so that's what we check a lot of, out of. But, um, we, we learned a lot about that in spring, but it's been good. Um, you know, checking the routes is, is definitely, the go routes is kind of what Coach Lashley did with Rambo and all that, so I'm excited about that. A couple of moments of like tempo too, I think, after some of those big games, just like, is that a nice wrinkle to kind of yeah, get back yeah, to this I, year? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I think the tempo helps out a lot. You know, as soon as you get a 20-yard game, uh, you get on the ball and just get going, so uh, I, guess, I guess the defense caught off guard. And I think you can see we uh, move the ball pretty well. I think we got to score better on the red zone. I should keep that in there. But other than that, I thought we could move the ball pretty well. Yeah, we were working that on that all spring, you know, um, just catching those vertical balls. Um, we knew they were going to come out in man. Uh, they don't think we can make those plays, and we did. So um, I'm just happy to connect on that. Uh, connected to Riley on the end down there, which is good. Um, so, yeah, it was good. How, how much Tyler of the uh, next four months now is mental for you, just mastering the system, reviewing things, and getting to the point where you can you know, like you're in back of your Yeah, you know, spring was just kind of to just get that taste in your mouth. You know, it was, it was very simple tonight, very vanilla. So, um, just get back uh, in a couple of weeks and we'll start really working hard, getting the connection with receivers, start watching film on opponents of this year, and um, just get right. So, um, just gotta keep working hard, put the foot to the uh, to the gas pedal, and just keep working. Thanks to the other tonight, you know, and how did uh, you guys kind of feel like you getting a chance to run the offense the first time? How did that feel? It felt great uh, putting on a show for everybody. You know, uh, Coach Dawson, we already said we're gonna have explosive offense. I feel like we showed that a couple times. We had a little uh, ups and downs, but we're just gonna keep getting better. We're gonna keep pushing. We're gonna keep getting healthy. But you can see the tempo a couple of times. I mean, it's obviously you know unleashing everything, but like. You guys kind of like that? It seemed like you got to show a little bit of that today. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Especially when we get a big explosive play, we want to get on the ball, keep the defense tired, keep us uh, keep us moving fast. Uh, Coach Dawson does a great job of slowing it down by keeping uh, the pressure on the guys. So you and Tyler, when you guys were in the lineup together last year, it was pretty good. You guys have been doing it behind the scenes, but does it 
first time we've seen that connection in a while. Just how nice has it been to be linked back up with him again? It feels great. I mean, seeing him almost 100% healthy, throwing great balls, you know, he's moving better, he's looking good out the pocket, and just putting perfect plays, making good reads. So when you have a good quarterback like, uh, quarterback like that, you just got to make plays, and uh, he's a great quarterback. I'm sure last year was, it was frustrating for him, right? A lot of injuries. Does he just like seem more confident, or just, does he feel like a different guy a little bit? Um, he looks like a different guy. I haven't really talked about him. We, we leave last year and last year, but you know, he he's always been a good leader. You know, always making uh, the right moves, right decisions, saying the right words, and you know, keeping the team together. Jacoby had a nice night. Nice oh, touchdown. Anything you to say about him? I mean, all our receivers. I'm so I'm proud of them, man. Uh, Isaiah Horton making plays. Jacoby George really stepping up, and you know, uh, me and Tyler. I really struggled a little bit earlier in that game, and he just opened it up and brought all the energy and the offense up. So, hats off to him, you know, and ball out. Man, I love going against him. Linky corner, you know, he gets those long arms, he gets those arm out He, uh, he, great resilience, you know, he won't give up on the play. He even though he gets beat so long that he can make up, make up for the ground. Ray Ray made a couple plays too, um, and it's not just, I mean, it seems like he's like the effort, but like the, the toughness. Just what, what has impressed you kind of most about him so far? Yeah, Ray Ray's my roommate, so oh, I get to see him every morning, you know. I'm already knowing like, how he's going to come So you he's got that alarm so can you offer? Oh, absolutely. You know, <laughs> he's right there, right in the morning, you know, he's ready, he's ready to go to work anytime. Anytime you need to call Ray Ray, anything he needs, he's always ready. Even off the field, you know, he has that same energy, same effort. He does it up, uh, whatever he needs to do to get done. He kind of forces you to go to bed early, I imagine, huh, with those 5 o'clock alarms. Oh, absolutely. He wakes up a little later than 5, but he, he, uh, yeah, he, he's, a, he's a great guy, man. He's going to be a great leader when he gets older. Once he gets comfortable, once he gets uh, a little older, he's going to be a great person. It looks like your connection with Tyler right back where it was. Can you talk about that? Yeah, I mean, the work that we've put in the last three years is finally coming together. Um, you know, God's time is perfect. You know, that's how I look at it. Um, yeah, again, it's just coming all together at the right time. No, both of you guys, between the injuries, I'm sure last year was frustrating. Just to be healthy right now, hopefully into the season, just I mean, how much more, I guess, fun are you guys having? Confident are you feeling? Like, like how, how much different does it feel right now than it did yeah, no, for sure. last year? Um, for sure. Um, taking time off, something that you love, is just not a good feeling at all, you know? So being able to get back on the field and, you know, even like on long downs, like third and longs, fourth and longs, being able to just have that chemistry, like he's expecting me to be open and I'm expecting him to throw the ball. It just, there's no there's no better feeling. Yeah, you guys hit on a couple of those big plays. The tempo you can see also mm -hmm. a little bit. Just, for sure. Is that you're just kind of showing us a little little peek of what the offense is going to look like this for fall? Sure, for sure. Coach Dawson's doing a great job. Um, I mean, his offense speaks for itself. You know, I'm just excited to be an explosive offense like this. How, how comfortable would you say that, you know, the offense as a whole, all you guys are comfortable with it? Oh, no, no, we're super comfortable. I mean, there's a lot of room to grow, you know, but um, right now we're in a pretty good spot from where we're at. Uh, Ray Ray was made a couple, you know, a couple of your freshmen were good, but he especially just seems like the you know, guy with catch. Mm -hmm. what, what's kind of impressed you most about him so far? I mean, he, he's a worker, you know. Um, you know, you seen the interview the other day. He gets in every single day, catches balls. Um, love the kids' work, work ethic, and he's gonna be great. Uh, just Tyler generally, I mean, like obviously, like I said, he was hurt a lot last year. We, we, you guys have seen him, but we haven't seen him really in a while. Just does he feel like the old Tyler again? Um, yeah, for sure. I mean, again, he has the best arm in America. You know, that's how I like it. That was your first game, kind of, as a cane? Oh, it was an amazing uh, experience. Uh, we got to see a lot of guys perform, and, you know, on a big stage, thanks to, to everybody for showing out. It was a, it was a special moment. Talk a little bit about the defense in spring practice, how, how you feel you guys progress uh, with each week. Uh, we improved a lot um, for a few past weeks. Uh, the culture is changing the defense. The 2023 defense, is, we're coming for it now. We got to prepare for it. Uh, coaches have prepared us to work uh, pretty well. And I think we're, on a, we're going on the right path. Even though this isn't like a, a, an official game, like that's not until later in the year, but like how do you feel to just be out here, kind of you know, get a couple tackles, get that tackle for loss, and then get that under your belt, you know, with your new team, the new team. Um, our coaches have installed a 
a great mindset in, uh, in, in our defense and everybody. Um, we treat everything as a game day. Like today was a game day for us and we out there competing. We compete for spots and you know we just gotta show up. You crashing your brother at all today? Any other day? I try to find some moments for him <laughs> to, 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 to do that. So yeah. <laughs> Ruben, three sacks. I mean, this is what he did in high school. I guess it's what he's been doing behind the scenes. Just what, what has made, what has impressed you most about him? Not just today, but, but throughout the spring. Ruben stood out um, in the first week. Uh, he's been a special kid, and he's, he's a coachable. He's very coachable, and he's just very smooth with his technique, and he's going to be a special player for, for, the, for Kane, too. How, do you see him helping you guys this year? Oh, yes. Defense? You're going to see him a lot on the, on the field this year, and he's going to be a special player. He's going to make plays. Like, oh, I'm not surprised he was making plays today because that's what they've been doing in practice.